In this video, you're going to learn how to white label, high level, and resell it. Hey there, my name is Kerry Knoll, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I'll be answering these three questions in this video. How to add white label domain and your logo. Number two, how to use the SaaS configurator to create your own SaaS plans to sell. And three, how to sign up for the white label or pro or SaaS plan. All right, so let me hop into my high level account. So this is the pro or SaaS plan. And what you need to do is once you sign up for it, you will go into company under settings like I am here and you will upload a logo for your SaaS. You'll create one. In this case, mine is called Marketing Engines AI. And then, of course, I have my company website for my SaaS, which is marketingenginesai.com. And then what you'll do is you'll, white label, you'll use this white label domain section, and you'll add the domain like app dot whatever your domain name is for your SaaS. And it'll give you all the specific DNS configuration settings you need in order to make this work for you. Okay, so that is how you would essentially start and white label high level to your own brand. The next part I want to share with you is how to use the SAS configurator. So we're going to click go back and then we're going to come into SAS configurator and then under the SAS configurator they used to have a limitation of just three configurations now they have pretty much unlimited. So what you can do is you can create different SaaS plans and you can pretty much have as many as you want. So what you would do is you click on add your plan and then you would give it a plan name. So this would be your SaaS plan name. And you can give it a description. It requires it. So usually I'll just copy that and paste it in here. They limit it to 40 characters, which is kind of silly. It's a little bit short in my book but you would just do that you give it a name then you click on the next button below which is i'm hiding it so i'm going to move myself over here instead so click next and then you can select a category and you can just put it under default or you can create a category if you want to and then you'll see your SAS plan there you can drag the order of them if you want then you can click next pricing details so you give it a price right so you can decide what price you want to set it for. So perhaps I want to make this $497 a month and maybe $4,970 4, annually. You can also set the user limit if you want to. So you can enable this and then set how many users are allowed in, this, in the sub account. <clears throat> or you can limit the contacts as well. So you can turn this on and then limit how many contacts were allowed in the sub account if you want to. All right, and then what you'll do is click next and you'll have all of these available, right? The features and snapshots to customize the plan. If you want to add a specific snapshot of a particular configuration for your particular SaaS plan, you can click add snapshot and then select whatever snapshot you've created. Otherwise, if you don't want to do that, you can move on from there. Everything from Marketing Engines AI beta access, it says below here, so this is Everything that's included right now, we have all of this enabled, but you can just unclick on any of these and, and remove them at your convenience. Then click Next, Trials and Credits. So if you want to have a trial period, you can turn this on and you can set it for whatever you want. In this case, it's defaulted to seven days, but you can go all the way up to 30 days, or you can set it at the regular 14 days that High Level offers as well or you can turn it off if you don't want to activate a trial period. You can also add credit while signing up monthly. So when a user signs up, you can offer them free credits to use email and telephone services. So if you want to enable that, you can, and you can decide if it's a one-time credit, how much you're going to give them, or if it's going to be recurring monthly, you can decide how much that's going to be. And then you can also say roll over unused complimentary credits to next month. So if they don't use those credits for that particular month, they can be then rolled over to the following month. So you just enable that if you want to use any of these features. Then you click Next, and then you have all your rebilling, 
for everything you see listed here on the left hand side. So we have phone system, email, uh, lead connector, premium triggers and actions, lead connector, email verification, content AI, workflow AI, conversation AI, WhatsApp com conversation, and reviews, dot, or reviews AI. So the rates differ per region, as it says, calculations shown as per Twilio rates for US. Outbound SMS for US Canada can be charged at 0 0.0079 a segment. Please check Twilio for more details. So as you can see here, charge, right? Making a call, it's 0 0.014 cents per minute. Receiving calls, 0 0.0085 cents per minute. Text messages, 0 0.0079 a segment. Charge to customer, it's 0 0.0147 a minute, 0 0.0089 a minute, and 0 0.0083 a segment. So $10 will give you about 680 calls, 1,125 calls received, and 1,205 segments. And it shows your profit right here, 0 0.0007 a minute, 0 0.0004 a minute, and 0 0.004 a segment. Okay, And that's if you were doing this 1.05 times the rate, which is what it defaults to. I suggest marking it up at least two times. So if we go to two times, then all these numbers are going to change. And you can see we just double our profit. So we went from 0 0.007 cents per minute to 0 0.014 cents per minute. All Both of these also double. Then what I would do under email, same thing. It's at 1.05. I would probably put it up to 2 point or 2. So I double it. I think that's fair. Same with this one. I just make it 2. Email verification as well, just make it two. Content AI, make it two. Now, if you don't want to offer any of these in any of your plans, you can just disable them by clicking on the switch. And then we can make this one two times as well. WhatsApp conversation, two times and reviews AI two times. All right, once you're happy with all of your configuration, then you click finish and you'll have a brand new plan. So I'll click finish and we'll find our plan and our list. There it is, your SAS plan name. That's the one I just created. Shows you all the features available we set zero days for trial period. We gave it zero complimentary credits. We have no snapshot attached. This is the price point we made it. You can also um, get the actual link if you want to, to sell it. So I can say copy this link and then I can just paste it into a browser window, maybe if I copy it correctly. So let's, oh, okay, so copy link. Here we go, got to click the copy button twice. And then we are all set to check out through Stripe directly, right? Now, I prefer to usually set up a funnel page with an order form and then add the products to the order form instead to sell. So what I would do instead is I would come back in here I would go into my SaaS uh, account, right, that I'm actually going to be selling from, which is Marketing Engines AI. And then I would go ahead and create a funnel and then create a funnel page and then add an order form to that page and then have the products added there. Okay, so now I'm inside of my SaaS sub account, right, for Marketing Engines AI, where I would sell marketing engines AI my SaaS and so what you first thing you have to do is go to payments and then products and you end up here and you have to not create a product but import from Stripe so I already created the product in the SaaS configurator so now I want to click import from Stripe and then what I can do is I can literally grab the price points unfortunately it's kind of difficult to determine which ones are which except for the fact that I know that I just created these that had this these two particular price points. So I would click the first one and then you can add a setup fee if you want to which is cool. I'm just going to import that price and product 
and then it says your SAS plan name and it has that one per particular price point. So I can click save and then go back and I can import the second price point for that plan, right? So I can hit import again and then I can pick this yearly price point, import it. It should stick it right into the same plan, which it does. So we have the monthly as the first one. We have the yearly, which is the second one. We'll just click save. And then we can click back. And now we have our products imported from our SAS configurator. Then the next thing we want to do is go into sites. And then we want to go find our primary funnel domain. In this case, it would be marketingenginesai.com, which is right here. So I'll click into that funnel. And then what I can do from here is I can create a new step. If I wanted to, I can call this, you know, your SAS plan, just so we can keep it all straight. Create funnel step, and then we can create from blank. That'll open up our page editor. And then inside of our page editor, we can simply add a section that's full width. We can add one column row. We can add one element. In this particular case, I want to add either a one step or a two step order. Now I like two-step orders because I like capturing name, email, and phone initially so I can do cart abandonment follow-ups. Alright, so I'm going to have to move me back over here just to make sure that we can grab the element. So I'm going to click two-step and then the two-step, like I said, will initially have all this information. I don't want to collect all of this on the first step. So what I would do is in the two-step, I'm going to move me back again over here. Okay. I'm going to initially go to advanced and we have one you know, step number one highlighted and then we're going to turn off show shipping so we're going to hide shipping that's gone and company name we're not going to ask for so we're going to hide company name so we're just going to ask for full name email address and phone number all right you can modify these other things like shipping you can change that out. Where should we ship it? Of course, we want to change that out to something else that makes more sense. Um, you can do other things like enable cart mode or turn that off. In this particular case, I would want that off because I wouldn't want them to be able to select both the monthly and the yearly option, just one or the other. Now, if you were doing this for something else where they were allowed to pick more than one option, you'd want to enable cart mode. We also have an order bump if we wanted to add it. We're not adding that right now. You also have the option to add or enable coupon codes. In this case, we're not going to enable that either because we don't offer coupon codes on this particular example. So then we'll, after we're happy with that, we're going to go to step two. So we'll highlight that. That's going to show us this particular next part, portion of the checkout form. Um, again, we would want to change edit shipping details to like probably personal details. And then um, there's two of these fields where it's not capitalized, so I always change those, item and amount. And then, again, you can modify any of this other stuff on step two as well. So I'm going to leave all this as is. This is how I would add a form to a funnel page in order to purchase one of my SAS configuration plans. So I'm going to click Save. I'm not going to publish this, but you would also have to hit publish in order to see it live on the internet. So we'll go back now that we added that, and I'm going to show you how to add the products to that step. So we have that step way down here, your SAS plan. We're going to click on products, and then from here we can click add product, and then we can add your SAS plan name. We can do the first price point of $497 a month. We can call this monthly. And then we have the ability to add price display override if we wanted to. Um, you can also do additional options here where you can select uh, whether this is a main product or a bump. If it, it's a bump, you would select bump. Custom authorization. So if you're offering a trial for 14 days, 7 days, 30 days, etc., you would probably want to just authorize not the full amount of $497, but say $1 to make sure the credit card is valid. And by doing that, it also doesn't lock up a lot of their money while it's authorizing, right? So I would change custom authorization to one. 
and then click save but this is only if I was doing a trial add product we're gonna add the second one so your SAS plan name we're gonna add the 497 a year this is yearly so I like to put that behind there because this is what's gonna show up on the checkout page and then again we could have price display override we could do the additional options we can just hit save so now we have both our products assigned to that particular page for that particular form now if we go back to overview and I want to look at that page I can open that page up and then I can fill in my information including my email address okay my phone number go to step two and then step two we're gonna have the two price points now your SAS plan name monthly or your SAS plan name yearly and again because we didn't enable cart mode you can only select one or the other not both and then it's gonna say which one we've selected what our total is gonna to be and then we can pay with a card Google Pay I don't have PayPal enabled on this particular form but you could also enable PayPal all right so that's how a two-step order form works on a funnel page it works the exact same way on a website within high level and that's the way I typically sell any of my SAS plans but again you can just grab that stripe link and give that stripe link to anybody and anybody can just check out that way as well so it's just two different methods both get the same result okay so let me close that now I showed you exactly how to do all that The next thing I want to show you is how you can get access to sign up for the white label pro or SAS plan okay before you go I want to share with you how you can get access to what I consider the biggest best and probably baddest high-level bonus package you'll ever find on the internet worth darn near if not over fourteen thousand dollars alright so below this video you can click on a link that will take you to this page you see in front of you once you see this page you click this black button this pop-up will pop up you will enter your name email address and phone number click this black button and once you submit your information you'll be taken over to the high level bonuses page that explains everything you're going to be receiving so there's another talking head video of me explaining the benefits to my high level bonus package and if you scroll on down you can see everything that's included including my high level insiders flagship mastermind membership program that's absolutely 100 percent free just by signing up for either marketing engines AI my SAS or through one of my affiliate links for high level itself so you can get all the information you need about that on this particular page this program includes high level masterclass for beginners so this gives you a series of videos that will teach you everything you need to know about high level you will also receive the high level agency masterclass for beginners so if you are on the 297 agency plan or better the pro or SAS white label plan you will also have everything you need to know about configuring the agency and or white label pro SAS plan from there you're also going to get access to my marketing engines AI various proprietary engines that I am building out in my marketing engines AI SAS you can get beta access to these so the only ones that are going to be getting access to these before marketing engines AI actually officially launches on 525.25 are those who sign up through my affiliate link or marketing engines AI at this point as beta access users so you're going to get access to the AI appointment booking engine, the AI birthday celebration engine, the AI sales funnel website engine, the AI lead alert engine, the AI reputation review engine, the AI customer referral engine, plus there's going to be several more of these engines added to marketing engines AI platform in the coming weeks and months ahead. On top of that, you're also going to get access to the foundation workshops. Now, the foundation workshops are built out to help you grasp the order of operations that are necessary in order to 
be proficient and be able to build things out in a timely manner for yourself and or your clients. So week number one, we start with custom fields and custom values. Week number two, we talk about forms and surveys. Week number three, we talk about calendars. Week number four, we talk about pipelines and opportunities. Week number five, we talk about email services. Week number six, we talk about phone numbers with the A2P10 DLC compliance and application process. Week seven, we talk about payments and invoices. Week number eight, workflows and automations. Week number nine, funnels and websites. Week number 10, trigger links and URL redirects. Week number 11, contacts, lists, and tags. Week number 12, conversations and conversation AI. Week 13, Google reviews and reviews AI. And week 14, communities and memberships with more to come after that. You'll also be receiving marketing engine workshops specifically geared towards helping you fully understand each one of those aforementioned marketing engines, AI engines that you're going to get beta access to. So reputation management service workshop, the customer referral service workshop, the birthday marketing service workshop, etc. You'll also get access to weekly live Q&A calls. So you get a chance to get all of your questions answered and we'll keep you up to date with the latest tools, resources, strategies, tactics, and processes that you need in order to be successful with high level. There's also a private community where you can mastermind with and get the support of a select group of like-minded individuals that are as committed to building their business as much as you are. And if you keep on going, you can read some testimonials and I'll even tell you exactly how to cancel. You can cancel at any time, 24-7, 365, 366 if it's a leap year, and you can even cancel while you're on the pot. So I show you step by step on how to cancel your account if high level is not right for you or Marketing Engines AI. So again, this total bonus value is $14,099 and counting. I'm sure it'll be increasing as I develop and launch additional engines. And if you have any questions regarding what's all included in the bonus package or high level insiders, I have a frequently asked questions area that you can pretty much get all the answers to your questions there. However, if you have additional questions, feel free to reach out and I'll do my best to answer them for you. All right, once you've decided to sign up through my high level link or through Marketing Engines AI, either one on this particular page, you will click one of these black buttons. Once you do that, it'll say try high level now for free and you will get a chance to either sign up for Marketing Engines AI, which I will give you a 30-day trial of it. So I give you a little better option than just signing up for high level where you can only get a 14-day trial. However, if you're not interested in signing up for Marketing Engines AI for whatever reason, and yet you want to get started with high level, try it out. You can start your 14-day free trial of high level on the starter agency plan by clicking this link. If you have already started a trial through another affiliate, but you have not yet paid, so you're still in the trial period, you can extend your free trial of high level starter agency plan by clicking on this link. If you want, you can start your 30 day, I'm sorry, this is actually a typo. You can start your 14 day trial of high level pro SaaS plan by clicking this link. And the best news is even if you already have high level through someone else and you're paying month to month or what have you, you can upgrade to the high level agency plan from the starter plan. Let's say you're on the starter plan and you want to move up to the agency plan, you can upgrade here and still get access to all my bonuses, including high level insiders. You can also upgrade to the high level pro SaaS plan, which is the white label plan by clicking on this link, or you can purchase or upgrade to the high level annual plan by using this last link. If you choose to upgrade to the white label pro SaaS plan, then you will click on this link and it will take you over to this page here where it says upgrade to high level pro today. You will have to input the agency relationship number, which you can find right here, agency code. So you just copy and paste this in. And then of course you can use my code ZZYYZZX as well. And then if you are interested in only starting your 14 day free trial of the high level pro SaaS plan and you click that link, it'll take you over here 
where you can see everything you're getting and click on start a free trial of the Pro SaaS plan today. All right, so that's everything that's included inside of my high level bonus package. So just pick the option that works best for you, depending on your situation. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. You can either leave me a comment below the video, or if you know how to get in touch with me otherwise, you can send me a message via one of those other options. I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Thank you so much, and I look forward to helping you learn and advance your skill set with High Level inside of High Level Insiders. I can't wait for you to join us. Hope you have a good one. We'll speak with you real soon.